Hello, everyone. We are back again to cover off on major issues across Asia, Pacific, and Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Today, Paul is still traveling in Australia to fill in for him. Uday will be covering off on East Asia Pacific. Over to you there. Thanks, Pargov. So we covered 28 events in the East Asia Pacific regions today and their respective subregions. Um, so the opposition in Thailand filed a no-confidence motion against Prime Minister Prayut chan cha and nine other government ministers yesterday. This is something to follow as uh, elections are expected within the year. Um, the main event uh, that we assessed today was an Islamist protest in Jakarta, Indonesia tomorrow. Uh, this is over the controversial remarks on Prophet Muhammad made by members of India's ruling party. Um, so Islamist groups have attempted to mobilize um, over several issues related to religion. Uh, they've been trying to get their influence back, uh, but they've been pretty much cracked down hard upon by the government. Uh, we also issued our special daily Myanmar report, uh, which shows how the situation is getting more volatile. So that's basically it from the uh, East Asia Pacific region. We can move on to South Asia, where I believe Bhargav will be discussing events also related to the controversial comments by members of India's ruling party. Uh, thank you there. In South Asia today, we had 14 other developments and one assessed issue. Continuing in the same vein, there have been threats made by Al-Qaeda and more recently the Islamic State. And they have also mentioned a few other issues in the, in the threat. They are basically referring to the controversial comments made by the members of ruling BJP. Now, the Islamic State has taken interest and the threats cannot be ignored. However, the capability within India can also be questioned, given the proactive nature of security forces within the subcontinent, especially in India, where the National Investigative Agency has been active in raiding their known hotspots, especially in southern India, uh, such as Coimbatore, northern Kerala, and even outskirts of Bangalore. They have tracked down suspected uh, members of the Islamic State. The protests in other cities have also continued. Uh, some of the Islamist groups, as well as political parties, have taken advantage of the situation and they're mobilized uh, to to ensure that they get media uh, the media coverage as well. And another issue which is drawing attention and and basically triggering protests uh, is the questioning of Rahul Gandhi, who is, a, uh, who is a senior leader within Indian National Congress, the primary opposition party uh, in the central government. Now, the BJP has been accused of using central investigative agencies like the Enforcement Directorate to target members of opposition, mainly at the state level. And now uh, the same thing has been accused uh, against the same thing has been alleged in the central government as well, that they are targeting members of parliament from the opposition parties. The protest from the Congress party, uh, mainly in Delhi, is likely to continue at least in, in the foreseeable future. And the, there are quite a few accusations about comp how the BJP has compromised the integrity of central agencies. So with that, it's a wrap for...